Hey guys, today I want to share with you five ways to measure progress without the scale. You know, we all get hung up on the scale and the thing will drive you nuts. Hey, this is Randy Hartz from Complete Fitness where we help people look better, feel better, and perform better. Basically, we want to help you gain more energy. Um, we want to help you get stronger safely in the gym so we can get you that lean toned look that all of us are after. So let's get back to the scale here. So we all know how it goes. You step on that scale first thing in the morning and it kind of tells you whether you're gonna have a good day or a bad day. And I'm telling you, there's a lot better ways to measure progress than just the number on the scale. And way number one is for you to look at your energy. Energy is the key. Like everybody that walks through our doors that are looking to make a physical change, our first goal is to get them full of energy. Energy leads to making better food choices. It leads to you moving more, you know, exercising more, getting in the gym, going for walks outside of the gym, taking the stairs rather than the elevator, all of those things. So first of all, ask yourself, how are your energy levels? The second things we want to look at is how are the clothes fitting? Basically, we want to look at our inch measurements because when the inches are going down, we know we're moving in the right direction. So a lot of times the scale might be not be moving the way that you think it should, but you might be getting compliments. People are asking you, hey, what are you doing? You know, it looks like you're shrinking. Again, you're adding lean muscle tissue while you're dropping stored body fat, and that's the goal here, giving you, again, that lean toned look. So number one, uh, the biggest thing is energy and then clothes sizes. And then the, the third thing is, is how is your appetite? We wanna make sure that your appetite is balanced, that it's under control throughout the day. So at three o'clock in the afternoon, you shouldn't be going and, and looking for the vending machine for a Mountain Dew and a Snickers bar or the chips or whatever it is that you normally go looking at. Your appetite should be at, under control throughout the day. That means we're balancing out our blood sugar and we're, we're feeding ourselves and feeding and supporting that lean muscle tissue, again, so stored body fat can be used as fuel. Uh, the fourth thing we wanna do is we wanna look at our strength. So that's another way to measure progress and make sure we're moving in the right direction. So if you're getting stronger, a lot of times that's telling us that you're putting on lean muscle tissue and muscle is where the metabolism happens at. The more muscle tissue you've got on your body, the more calories that your body's gonna burn at rest. And again, likely those calories are gonna be stored body fat and that's gonna give you that lean toned look. And then the final way to measure progress beyond the scale is looking at your body fat percentage. Now, you've gotta have somebody else do this for you. We, we use uh, a scale called the in body where you just simply step on that thing, you hold on to um, some electrodes and, and then it tells us what your body fat percentage is. Basically, it tells us how much of your body is lean muscle versus how much is body fat and we want to chart that progress along the way. We want to maintain the lean muscle tissue, if not add some more and drop the body fat, which again is going to give us that lean toned look. So to recap, the top five ways to measure progress beyond the scale are energy, clothes sizes, your appetite, your body fat, and finally your strength. So those are the five ways. And again, throw the scale out. It just makes you crazy and it goes up and down based on water weight. So don't get fixated on that. Now, if you need our help, we'd love to, to have you come in and, and you can do a fitness assessment where we'll let you step on our body fat scale and, and uh, give you an idea of where you're currently at. But again, make sure that you're measuring progress along the way. But we're here to help. I'll post a link below on how we can help you do that. I hope this added value to you. God bless you. Have a great day and we will see you in the gym.